Washington came to Dayton today. And that's because a congressional committee is trying to find out why so many salaried Delphi employees lost their full pensions and benefits, while union workers did not. Dissetter 7's Una Lee covered that hearing this morning at Sinclair Community College. Delphi salary employees say the government got involved and used taxpayer dollars to do them wrong. You took the most loyal um, work group and just really threw us under the bus. Why I am not worthy of the same pension treatment as the man that I worked next to for 30 years. You could always count on us to get the job done. We, and there was no strikes, no work stoppages, whatever took place, we were always there. The first congressional field hearing devoted solely to the Delphi pensions investigation attracted hundreds of people. The U.S. House Committee Oversight and Government Reform heard stories of heartbreak from Delphi salaried retirees. The committee chairman tells News Center 7 they need to find out what happened behind closed doors during the GM bankruptcy and auto bailout. In fact, it was, it was putting this thing out of the system that caused them to get less than they would have if simply government had not intervened at all. Now the next step is to try to do everything they can to get full disclosure from the administration and also the Treasury Department. Our response back was very general and did not address the questions directly. So we've got work to do. This stonewalling has got to stop. Uh, the, the, the taxpayers' monies were being used here and the taxpayers are due an answer. When the committee asked a representative from the U.S. Government Accountability Office questions about getting more answers, she replied due to the ongoing work, not much can be revealed. Lawsuits have been filed against the Treasury Department and the Pension Benefit Guarantee Corporation. Reporting in Dayton, Yuna Lee, News Center 7. And a Robert Target